Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Ansel, and today we're going to talk about Domino number 3. So last issue ended with a very explosive cliffhanger, where Domino was being betrayed, apparently, by one of her friends. Um, but they see she put the, hit the pause button on that particular storyline, because it goes back in time to when Domino was a little girl and was being experimented on by this shady organization uh, due to her powers. And, the, and, and we see a couple of flashbacks that were really interesting and were really hard to see sometimes because of how they were trying heavily to manipulate her and to make and to hurt her just to activate her luck powers because they didn't really know back then how they work. Um, but they were trying to, I guess, weaponize them, because that's usually what these people try to do. And we see Domino being hurt by this, uh, sometimes not just physically, but also emotionally. Uh, and we also get to see, get to the point where we get to know, um, uh, or maybe we can say that we get to know again, how she gets her particular and very iconic, by now, uh, eye patch? <laughs> let's say, um, and how she has made this thing her own, and how she has made this thing part of her identity. So all that, all of that was really great. I really enjoyed uh, seeing uh, that, that story because it really enriched uh, and really helped develop our protagonist in this case. And on that point, I do believe that this issue has been improving a lot since the beginning, has been really uh, becoming greater and greater since number one. And I really enjoyed that and I'm really thankful for it because at one point, maybe it was during between the end of issue one and the beginning of issue two, I was like, mm, I'm not really sure if this has a future. Uh, I just hope it gets better. But it has gotten better. I am really happy for it. So after all these flashbacks, we go back to the present and we get to know that yes, there seems to be truth to the fact that one of her friends is really working for the bad guys or is really leaking information and this really devastates her. And 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 let's say that after all, with combining the things that we see happened in Domino's past and the things that are being discovered in Domino's present, that the issue was really personal for her and was really personal for the readers if you get involved enough uh, in her story. So I really, I really enjoyed that. And I think it was well done. The only real flaw I will have to point out is that we really don't know much about the villain. We still don't know why they hate Domino so much. We still don't know why they are really doing this. I mean, it, it, it's just to make her suffer. I mean, just because? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think, I mean, I really hope so. That, that is not the case. Um, so I hope that we get uh, more development on that part of the story soon. But apart from that, this has been good. So we give it three and a half black circles out of five because it really got to me, because it really made me care about this girl a lot more than I already did. So yeah, good, good, good continuation, good follow up to last issue, and I really hope it keeps getting better. But before I go, I just want to say that cliffhanger was really, really funny, but I will talk more on that on the video for next issue. So what did you think of this one? What do you think of this personal development for Domino? Do you like Domino? If so click the like button and comment down below and let me know all your thoughts on this. So thank you guys a lot for watching and I guess I will see you the next time.